what's going on you guys hello hi um it's me heather <laughs> again i got blocked from sharing live video on tiktok so here i am um i just want to say hello to everyone and that we haven't given up we're still out here six fucking months later right babe you want to say hi Who is it? it's everyone youtube gopro solo hi gopro solo um, so from the production page, I just want to give you guys an update on where we're at and where I've been. Also, I just want to show you guys, this is the, like literally the first time since uh, I was displaced from my home unlawfully. A lot of you know the backstory, some of you don't. If you don't... I YSL, I'll tag it in the comments. Um, but I've been dealing with a huge struggle. Um, basically, I fell in love with a man or thought I fell in love with a man who may or may not have been using me, was most certainly exploiting me. Um, and when he came out, when he came home, we were separated and uh, I've been being raped, beaten, robbed, abused, unlawfully thrown out of my home, beat up by cops. I have no criminal record. I have a bachelor's degree and I like to mostly just mind my own business. Um, so I've been filing umpteen million police reports. I've been homeless. I've spent $40,000 on Airbnb. I've had 20 jobs that I've been chased out of. By chased, I mean either physically assaulted, stalked, harassed, let go for no reason um, in the last three years. So that's 20 jobs, maybe more. I have them all written down. Um, as I said, I've been raped. I've been tortured. I've been left outside to walk for five to 10 days at a time. Um, I've been sleep deprived. I have been deprived of food. Uh, like I said, it's been very bad. Uh, I have the, the biggest thing is that I have three children um, who I love more than life, and we've been separated. They lived with me full time prior to all of this, and we have been separated since uh, 2020, January of 2020. Do I see them? Absolutely, every chance that I get. They just don't live with me anymore um, because even though I have primary custody, I don't have an address. Um, the hardest part is that for t up to 12 weeks at a time, that's the longest period yet, um, I will be unable to speak with my youngest. My kids are siblings. They have two different fathers. So the two older ones have one dad. The baby has another dad. By separating them, not only did you separate them from their mom, you separated them from each other. So... It's like abusively loud. Like really... It's sick. Overdose. It's count. ridiculous. They f wherever I am, that, that happens at least 10 times a day. And I'm going to start recording it to prove it. I swear to God. And then look, they're clearly not at the hospital. But they turn off all their sirens. They turn off all their sound. What the fuck made it necessary in this street with no people to drive by like that 10 times a day inside of just a few short hours? You're not at the hospital and then you turn it off when you pass me. But that's not harassment. And I'm not supposed to interpret it as harassment. Come on. So anyways, these people knew that I had PTSD when they found me. They knew that I had a panic disorder. Um, I've been being treated for that for about 20 years. Um, how am I treated for that? I had a low dose prescription of Xanax and a prescription for 10 milligrams of Adderall to be taken PRN up to TID, um, which is a quantity of 90 pills uh, for a 30 month, for a 30 day supply. <laughs> Pardon me. I was getting robbed for those. Like, it has been the most abusive situation. All of this has been incredibly well documented. And some of you may know, before I got into production and content creation and social media marketing, my background is in medical office, medical clinical front and back end office, medical law and ethics. So that's HIPAA, coding, billing, patient rights and advocacy, um, among other things. So when I tell you that they have done me so bogus, they have done me so bogus. Um, I am not a street person. Taking away my home and putting me outside is probably the only way you can hurt me besides separating me from my children. Um, and I'm just not gonna, gonna stop. So the abuse has gotten so bad, that's why they call us diamonds. It has nothing to do with the way we look, okay? It has to do with the fact that they have dropped us from the top of the fucking Sears Tower and expected us to break and we're still intact. Yeah, we might fucking need to lay down and cry for a few days, but bitch, you can't break us. When we're done crying, we're back again. And here we are. And my name is Heather Gillespie and I'm the owner and founder of GoPro Solo. Um, if you guys have been following me since my many vids days, my cam soda days, you'll know that I first started in content creation, creating sexy little videos. 
no porn. I've never been on camera with another human being in my life, nor would I ever want to. Um, and I haven't done any cam work since 2018. We're in 2023 now. Um, the evolution of my art, I've always been an artist um, in some way, shape or form, writing poetry, uh, writing music, drawing, um, working with clay, just literally whatever I can do, curating, production, direction, um, literally whatever. Um, people would call me Olivia Pope of art, like that I use art to solve any and every problem. Um, and I would not disagree with that. Uh, it's worked in my life. It's been one of the only things in my life that's worked. So I'm going to keep on doing it. Um, I wanted to jump on and say hi to you, you guys today because I know a lot of you were here when we were doing the uh, elements discussion. Um, I was running a photo shoot contest. There's really, no, it's kind of a dry run on something I'd like to start doing regularly where we have sponsors who offer little 10 to $100 gift cards at different stores and local vendors online boutiques, etc., and so forth. And to the creative following, we kind of pitch or curate an idea um, for a photo shoot, and then we all just go wild and just do what we want. Well, the first idea of that was called the Elements Shoot. It was a week ago Sunday that I thought of this idea and that I shot water. Um, when I shot water, I did so at this beautiful fountain on the way to where my children live. Most of you know I'm most of the time downtown Chicago. 90% uh, of the time I'm downtown Chicago. 20, 20, well, I'd say 80 to 90, 20 to 10% of the time I'm going to visit my children in the suburbs, Northwest suburbs uh, and Northwest side of Chicago. Um, we went out there and stopped at the way. Uh, there was a beautiful fountain in Schiller Park. Um, I did my whole entire photo shoot, the elements photo shoot, and then I was beaten up by three law enforcement officers while laying in a defenseless position on a yoga mat, violating no laws. Um, I am pregnant. I was, the officers were under the impression that I was pregnant. They knew that I was pregnant. Um, they had been there a few hours before and told us we were doing nothing wrong by being there. And that as long as we didn't quote, leave our belongings and go, there would be no issues. If we did leave our belongings and go that in the morning, a garbage man would come and throw them away. We expressed understanding and law enforcement left. The exact same cops came back an hour later and literally beat the fuck out of me. Um, Xavier was not there. They knew I was pregnant. They picked me up off the ground. They slammed me down onto my face. I have a huge goose egg on this side of my head. Um, neuropathy from this pinky down to my elbow. The same thing here. Limited range of motion in my right shoulder. I did go to the hospital. I did have a little bit of bleeding the day after. I'm 14 weeks pregnant. Just past my first trimester. Just past the threshold for a um, uh, late postpartum hemorrhage or not late postpartum hemorrhage uh, for a... Uh, What's the other word? Not abortion, uh, miscarriage. So after you get out of the first trimester, your chances for miscarriage decrease significantly, something like 75 or 80%. Um, so I did have a little bit of, of um, spotting. We did go to the hospital. I had an ultrasound and baby is fine. Thank God. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. This is baby number four. Anyone who's been following knows that I was pregnant with twins um, and they passed away December 26th when I went into preterm labor inside of the airbnb i was staying in and had to hand deliver them in the shower um ambulance came i thought i was dying bleeding out uh and i was taken to swedish covenant hospital where i had emergency surgery to empty the rest of the contents of my uterus um and less than three months later i'm sorry less than six months later so almost six months to the day we found out that i was pregnant again it's just one baby this time so that's awesome and exciting now, um, the Elements shoot was supposed to be a four-day series. The first day, water. The second day, earth. The third day, fire. The fourth day, air. Um, I was able to shoot water. I had a very brief and interrupted shoot for, for earth. Definitely not what I wanted, but it looks okay. I'm my own biggest critic, so I definitely want to redo a lot of these shoots, but I haven't gotten to fire or air yet. And the main reason for that is because, again, Every single time that I announce to you guys, hey, let's run a contest. Hey, I'm doing a four-day series. Whoever has been targeting me for these past four years takes it upon themselves to begin again stalking me, um, filling my days with abuse and nonsense so that I have no time to do or funding or budget to do what I had previously planned. Um, I have been, as I said, filing consistent police reports and I carry them around with me. I'm also writing a novel and I'm on page 420 something about all of the abuse that has taken place over the past four years. I 100% plan on suing everyone involved. I have not heard back from my lawyer, Nick Albuquerque, despite the hundreds, if not thousands of calls to him. Um, 
you know, so that's what's been going on in my life. Um, and with GoPro Solo. So I want to thank everyone for being supportive through these rocky times. It is a lot easier to be a fan of someone when they are consistent, right? If I say I'm running a fucking contest, I need to be here for the contest, right? Otherwise, you start losing faith. People think you're unreliable. They, they can't trust you. You're not serious. So I want to say sorry um, no matter what's going on and what lack of control I have over it. I don't want to ever appear to be unreliable to you guys or like this isn't my passion because this is GoPro Solo, these photo shoots, these content creations, these curated um, works of art, photo series, they make no mistake. In the absence of my children and almost complete isolation they have kept me in, this is the only reason I'm not dead yet. Make no mistake. No mistake. I have lost the passion for life that only my children and these photo shoots allow me to have back again. So anyone who's supported me here, followed me here, donated a budget here, thought of an idea here, done anything in any way to be supportive of my personal blog or my GoPro solo page, thank you so much. I know it sounds trivial, it's not. You you people have fucking saved my life on more than one occasion. So thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Um, I have not given up on the Elements photo shoot. I may redo Earth, I'm not sure yet. Um, I actually really like how it came out, but it's not as glam as I wanted it. I wanted the elements shoot to be the elements if they were people. And I want Mother Earth to be this fucking glam boss who does not give a fuck about letting people know if it wasn't for me, none of you motherfuckers would be here, right? Same with water, same with fire, same with air. Alone, they can destroy or they can save. Together, they are everything that we need to survive. So I just want you guys to understand, um, you know, where I've been, why I've been inconsistent the last few weeks. Thank you so much for all of your assistance and for being there. Uh, Please keep your eyes open for all of these abusive people and things um, and shut them the fuck down. You know, Um, I've said some controversial things. I do believe that there are certain people who should not breathe another breath. Um, People who harm children people who harm and stalk and sexually assault women or men predators in general like how about and i've suggested this numerous times we load them into an 18 wheeler that we set ablaze and we can or not burn some fucking s'mores while we're at it i'm sick and tired of being victimized take your fucking dirty looks elsewhere Take your abusive measures far away. If you think I am, let me be that in your own head. Shut the fuck up and keep it moving. How about that? I'm tired of having to live up to whoever's expectation. I'm never going to be what you want me to be. I'm never going to be tame. I'm always going to be a loving, compassionate woman. I'm never going to want to use drugs and party it up all night. It's just not me. I don't judge. It's just not me. I like to be in bed by 10, 1030 with a hot bubble bath, right? I like to have my kids in bed by 9, 30, 10, all clean, homework done, backpacks by the fucking door, and for me to be in bed by 10, 10, 30. Like that is the life that I have been striving for my entire life. I am not going to be who you want me to be if you want me to be anything other than that. So to all my real fans, oh, let me show you guys my outfit because I was telling on my personal blog, they've had me out here dressed like a straight fucking homeless bitch this entire time. This is the first time minus this high slit that I've been able to dress how I would dress normally. So I would always accessorize. I had so many pairs of sunglasses. It's not even funny because why not? Right. I would always do my hair. I would never leave the house without my hair done ever. Messy bun. What? No, not me. And I would be wearing something similar to this. As I said, without the slit, it goes to my knee. I would wear this to pick up my kids from school. I would wear this sitting in the fucking sala solita. I would wear this every day. And again, it's not for you or you or you or you. It's so that I feel better. It's so that I feel good. It's so that I'm confident. Nothing most people do, hear me clearly. I don't care who you are. Nothing that most people do, no matter who they are, is going to be to hurt, harm, or help someone else. We all have an innate quality inside of us to make sure that we are okay first, okay? So no matter how compassionate you are, you can't be compassionate to someone from your grave, right? Be your own biggest fan, 
be confident. And when you don't have a fan club, you have to be that for yourself. So anyways, I just make sure no one's walking by. This is my first time getting dressed in almost four years. I'm pregnant, 14 weeks pregnant. So this is, this is why when you hear me talking about things like, um, 14 weeks. And when you hear me talking about things like, um, being your own biggest fan, I don't just mean online. I mean, go outside and when they try to shut you down, shut them down, shut them down. No human deserves to be left outdoors. No human deserves to be denied a right to indoor plumbing. No human deserves to be separated from their child unless they are beating the fuck out of that kid on a regular or semi-regular basis, period. Do you understand me? Even if these motherfuckers are not able to feed their kids, those children belong with their families and then drop them off meals on wheels. Stop ripping apart families unless there is a fucking reason to do so. A big reason. That's it. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for hanging in there with me through the ups, the downs, the fucking troubles. I'm never going to quit this. Uh, If I take some time off, understand that it's because I'm literally being targeted and probably fighting for my life. All right. Uh, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for tuning in.